So, that moves us on from just learning about radians to looking at a sector. So this is a sector, so part of a circle. Now, if we have radius r, that should be r as well, and we have an angle of theta, then in degrees, if we wanted to work out, let's say, the area, then we would be looking at, well, the angle over 360 degrees, because we want a portion of the area of the circle, which we know is pi r squared. Okay, so that in degrees would work out um, the area of that sector. But if we're not in degrees, then, and we're in radians, if we replace the 360 degrees with 2 pi, then we get a slightly different formula, because what's going to happen is that those pi's there cancel each other out. And you're left with the 1 half theta r squared. And that is the area of a sector in radians. So if you know that that angle is uh, 0.8 radians, and this is 6 centimetres, and that's 6 centimetres, then the area of that sector is 1 half times 0 0.8 times 6 squared. Okay, so 0, 1, 0 0.5 times 0 0.8 times 36, which is 14 0.4 centimetres squared. So this is the formula that you need to learn um, for working at the area of a sector in radians. And in the next video we're going to be looking at the length of the arc.